Hello guys, I am a bot and welcome to our channel Bot Engineer. Today I come with a new topic client server architecture. In this session we'll gonna discuss on client server architecture and its types. So without wasting our time let's get started with our today's topic. Client server architecture. Client server architecture is a distributed application structure that partitions tasks or workloads between the providers of a resource or service, called servers, and service requesters, called clients. In client server architecture, the client requests a resource and the server provides that resource. A server may serve multiple clients at the same time while a client is in contact with only one server. It is a general purpose architecture where client request for any kind of resource or data to the server. These both client and server are connected to each other via internet. Server intercept the request, process it and fetch data from the database and send it to a client in form of response. Database is the place where the actual data and information are stored. There are three types of client server architecture. One tire architecture. 2 tier architecture 3 tier architecture 1 tier architecture 1 tier architecture is that where the client server and database all reside on the same machine anytime you install a db in your system and access it to practice sql queries it is 1 tier architecture for example while creating a web application by java programming language we have install apache server and mysql database within our machine to run our web application we don't need extra physical server and database outside our computer two tier architecture a two tier architecture is that where presentation layer runs on a client and data is stored on a server in this architecture a client request for data or resources to server and server process that request. In tier 1, our client resides in tier 2 server and database or occur. These both tier are communicate with each other through the internet or any network. This structure is quite easy to maintain and modify. The communication between the client and server in the form of request response and messages transfer is quite fast. The major drawback of this structure is, if the client nodes are increased beyond capacity in the structure, then the server is not able to handle the request overflow and performance of the system degrades. 3 tier architecture The 3 tier architecture has 3 layers namely client, application and data layer. The client layer is the one that requests the information. In this case it could be the GUI, web interface etc. The application layer acts as an interface between the client and data layer. It helps in communication and also provides security. The data layer is the one that actually contains the required data. This architecture contains an application layer between the user and the DBMS, which is responsible for communicating the user's request to the DBMS system and send the response from the DBMS to the user. The application layer also called business logic layer that processes functional logic, constraint, and rules before passing data to the user or down to the DBMS. 3 tier architecture is the most popular DBMS architecture. The main goal of 3 tier architecture is to separate the user applications and physical database. Program data independence, and support of multiple views of the data. So that's all for today now. I hope this video is informative to you. We will come again along with our next video with new topic. If you like this video then hit the like button, share this video with your friends and also subscribe to this channel.